So welcome to uh, a nice, um, quick uh, interview um, with Tom um, and his, uh, his released single. So we said we'd do a quick interview with him, find out what it's all about and where you can get the single. Um, and uh, we're doing this on the basement door on a special Friday night uh, edition. So there we go. Welcome, Tom. How you doing, uh, man? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. It's doing all right. Yeah, it's good. So um, so we said we'd do this one for you. We don't usually just jump in on this. So if anyone's watching, don't think you could just jump in. You have to be quite special to get onto these Friday night specials. Um, so, yeah, and we've known Tom for a while, so it's been good to see him in different bands like, uh, so The Living Things and um, uh, I was going to call it the other name, but it's uh, Gunliner. <laughs> I was going to call it the other one, but it's, yeah, it's Gunliner. Um, yeah, so you're you're releasing a single, you've released a single yeah. called Slowly, which is which is out yesterday. Yes um and we'll we'll put links up to where you can get that um so what's the what why why put a song out now what's the song about uh well so sort of over lockdown i sort of started to experiment a bit more with like music and stuff in general so trying to figure out what i really like uh because so i can become more of a solo artist because obviously i'm in i think i'm currently in like six bands or something (laughs) playing guitar and bass which is a bit mad so i was like you know what i'll give the solo stuff a go so i was messing around i've made like over 20 30 tracks just of random things uh and i was like oh i quite like 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 this one so i worked on uh i worked on it a bit more on the chord sequences and uh whatever and it came along to i called up my mate molly who i went away to america with last summer um and because she's an amazing singer. Um, and I was like, yo, can you just like sing on this for me? Like do some singing with me. Uh, and she said, yeah. And I was just like, do you want to release it? She's like, yeah, sure. So now we're here. <laughs> wow, cool. Okay, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. So yeah, um, we, we've known a, a couple of people over the last 12 years that have been in mm. lots of bands and stuff and they, it's really good that you sort of see them and they help other bands out quite a lot like you i think are helping other bands out quite a lot by yeah. being part of their setup uh, one's mm. name springs to my ollie harvey used to be in almost every band we had <laughs> down at basement door but he's a great guy and it's mm. like and he's he's got um, he's got some good stuff and i think you're sort of like similar character where you want to be in bands and want to play music and want to help people out and stuff like that so so Tell me about tell me about slowly then. What's the what's the um, what's it all about really? Just just tell me slowly. So uh, funny. <laughs> um, slowly is um, so slowly is not really like about one specific thing. It's like it's just quite generic. It's it just how I write it is um, trying to put it in words. Um, <laughs> I basically record. Uh, everything beforehand and I do the lyrics like very last so I will always have a melody line sort of in my head whilst I'm going through it and it processes through after like days and days of working on it um and then I'll just improvise the words because I feel that when I'm improvising something uh improvising lyrically um it will mean something to me so like everything so it could be something that's like I felt in the past something I feel now something I might feel later on I don't know. It does. It doesn't all necessarily come together and make sense. Like if you directly looked on a piece of paper at the lyrics, it would look like rubbish. But it, it's just sometimes how I feel, and yeah, that's just how it works for me. Cool. Okay. Be interesting to hear the hear the thing, which we're gonna listen to in a minute, hopefully, and then uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll see if we can come up with some, maybe people can suggest what they think it means. Yeah, um, which would be good. A bit like the old American Pie, Don McLean. There was a lot of speculation about what that meant, and um, there's yeah. a few other songs that have been like that in the past. So, um, but sometimes it is about the artist and how they feel and stuff. So yeah, it's an interesting sort of take on it, rather than saying this is about this and this and this. It's simple, you know. But so yeah, it's good. Okay, so um, and what what are you what are, um, other th- are you planning to do? Any more single releases? Like, and you're saying about this solo sort of mm. solo area of your life. I'm not going to say solo career because you're with other bands so you you sort of like yeah. got other things going on yeah no um well originally before this i was going to release two different tracks before this but then i thought they needed a bit more work so i have got loads of music like sort of prepared for it uh so probably 
I mean, I've released like solo stuff before, but I didn't have like any vocal work or anything. It's just guitar stuff in like year 11 or year 10, I don't know. But um, yeah, I think I will because I quite enjoy it because having all that power, <laughs> having to agree with four other people. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's cool, man. So um, apart from apart from the music and bits and pieces, how is how is life in lockdown? Um, as your is your because your brother is a drummer, um, yeah. And is is he driving you insane with drumming, or is he being pretty decent about it? And <laughs> <laughs> the drumming is not the thing driving me crazy. It's just because obviously, just because uh, your brother. Him, <laughs> pretty much. Well, we don't. You'd be surprised, like because we're in a band together, you know, with like living things and screaming sarcasm. We've practiced once in like four months. When it's like outside of lockdown, we would normally practice like every night or like four times a night, four times a night, four times a week. You know, but we just haven't really practiced. I think we're a bit sick of each other. I guess that's I guess that's because there's no sort of there's no gig to look forward to to rehearse for at the moment, is there really? And it's like, you know, so and it's hard to if you're in a band to we've been noticing this, it's really hard for a band to sort of get that the latency of getting things together or even on a zoom thing, you know, where you've got that yeah. sort of slight latency where things don't quite match up timing wise and trying to put yeah. it all together doesn't really work that well. So, um, so yeah, I guess, I guess, you know, enjoy the rest, I suppose is all you can say. Just keep writing the yeah. solo stuff and enjoy the rest, I think. So, okay, well, let's go and have a listen to the, let's go and listen to the tune um, yeah. slowly. Um, and then, um, and then we'll come back and have a chat after. Yeah, that's cool.
cool so that was slowly very nice um and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going <laughs> to just cut straight away from the song and the single um we're going to just ask you a couple of questions um because we yes. have these sort of like questions that we ask bands and stuff like that so some of them can apply to um to to you individually so um so one of the questions we ask is what size feet are you uh size 13 13 yeah <laughs> wow i'm 12 in vans though oh okay <laughs> but like that's everything else <laughs> okay yeah wow that's it that's the biggest we've had i think um yeah. <laughs> and so listen so saying that how tall are you then uh six foot four really yeah six okay. foot three six foot four I haven't really noticed that you're that tall, but yeah, I guess I know you're above me and everything, but you know, I haven't really noticed that. Yeah. Because you're quite you're just such a likable person in reality. It's like maybe it's just sort of like the yeah. height doesn't come into it. I don't know. Well, I mean, in the downstairs basement door, I can't really jump. Because last <laughs> time I tried that, I almost hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. That is quite a low ceiling in that place, isn't it? Yeah, it's like. Um, yeah, really. So, okay, um, bucket list person to play with. That's an interesting one. So Ooh. the person you would most like to, uh, maybe maybe because you're doing a solo thing, let's look at a solo artist. Probably. I don't know. I feel like there's several. There's several, but like I think number one. I don't know, there's so many people. I think currently... Because it's like what I'm listening to now was probably be Young Bloods, only because I think our voices would contrast very well. Because he did, he does a lot of stuff with uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and he's like a lot of auto tune sort of stuff, and it contrasted really well. But I thought I think with like our different different ways of looking at music and stuff like that would work really well. Cool. Okay. Yeah. He did uh, Kingston, didn't he? I think he did. did yeah, no, he did. Yeah. yeah. Banquet mm. Records, our friend John Tolley, who's like done amazing to getting the artists he's had down at Kingston with uh, yeah. some stuff he's done. Um, best gig you've ever been to? Uh, either Royal Blood in Ali Pali in 2017 or Royal Blood at Reading Festival 2019. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's amazing. Royal blood, man. Well, I suppose you sort of fit a little bit of royal blood, don't you? If you if you just pick up your bass and Jack's playing the drums, you sort of, you know. <clears throat> um, okay. Um, let's get another quick fire question out to. Uh... Got any favourite jokes? Not really. <laughs> It's not a funny man. Okay. <laughs> Across the road, that's about as funny as I get. Um, it's hard finding the jokes that apply to the because we've got a lot of band joke band um, questions. Yeah. It's like trying to find one that applies to a single person as well and fits okay. Um, one because I'm in like six. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, venue to play anywhere in the world what venue to play and i'm going to change this and make because we usually ask this about sort of what festival or venue but i'm going to say venue what venue would you like to play at i would like to play probably i think ali pali would be great but only if the floor was a bit slanted okay because when I went to go see Royal Blood, the floor was like completely flat, so you had to literally just be tall if you were far back to see them. So probably Ali Pali personally, because cool. it's okay. as well. So, so the Ali Pali's capacity, I think, is ten thousand, or am I know. am I dreaming there? I don't know. I, I heard mention something of that. It's it's thousands anyway. I think in Ali Pali, isn't it? Yeah, easily. <clears throat> Cool. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, Tom, for, for doing this little uh, short uh, interview thing. And we hope to see you again 
being yeah. one of your guys in a band. You should have a disguise for each band you play in, so we, we think it's somebody else. It's like yeah. some sort of mad wig for one band and, like, you know, a moustache for another band and all that, you know? Yeah. Like different dress sense and all that, you know, just really jazz it up a little bit. So it'd be really fun. <laughs> all right. Okay. So listen, um, wishing you all the best, mate, to all the family and in, uh, in lockdown and everything, you know. And uh, obviously, I know your mum and dad and everything well as well. So it's, it's really yeah. great to you got some support there and everything. And uh, we long, long forward to seeing you with uh, another single coming out and maybe yep. more and more on an EP and an album, whatever. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully at some point, we'll be able to see you um, with a band playing at the basement door again. So, yes, I know. It's driving me <laughs> mad at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. All right, mate. Uh, God bless. Right. And we'll speak to you soon. Cheers now. See you.